All right. Hello, everybody. Thank you, Stephanie, for the introduction. My name is Phil Saccone, and I am the president of the Rackham Student Government. On behalf of the student body, it is my distinct pleasure to welcome you all here today as you begin the next chapter of your academic life. I would also like to extend a special thanks to our new president uh, for speaking at orientation today. We're very excited here at the Graduate School to be moving forward under his leadership, and I hope that he will join us again for next year's orientation. So here at Rackham, we've been preparing for your arrival for at least the last six months or so, so it's very exciting to see everybody finally sitting here. Welcome again. Um, how many of you guys just arrived here in Ann Arbor in the last week or so? See by a show of hands. Okay, nice. And how many people have been here for about a month or so? All right, about half and half. How many of you are coming to us from warm climates? <laughs> you have chosen unwisely. <laughs> Full length jackets, down, waterproof, hats, gloves, things like that. Those months are going to be very productive, though. A lot of grant writing, a lot of data getting recorded, a lot of PIs being happy. No. So we're very much looking forward to having you here and hosting you throughout the day. We're hoping that you guys will come to the full orientation picnic, which is happening at 5 o'clock this afternoon. We've got yard games. We have a DJ, lots of good food. We even have a bounce house. So hopefully you guys will come and enjoy the festivities. And you guys are going to have a wonderful long weekend coming. Maybe you'll take in a tailgate or bounce home to see some friends, relax a little bit. Uh, and then before you know it, Tuesday is going to arrive. The breakfast buffets will cease, and the real work is going to begin. But have no fear, because you're joining a community with a rich academic and social heritage. And you guys out there represent our future. On Tuesday, you're going to be asked to shoulder more responsibility than you likely ever had before. You're going to learn to master your subject at one of the finest institutions populated with some of the finest faculty in the world. But it's going to be up to you. Uh, in the undergraduate world, people told you what to do. They mapped out a plan, and all you needed to do was walk the path. Now, the goal is to develop mastery of your subject by being independent, and therein will be your challenge. But you have to keep in mind that you were accepted here because you have the talent, you have the skills, you're among the leaders and the best now, and that's why you're all here, and not at Ohio State. <laughs> so I'm about to enter my fourth year of graduate school, and I've been trying to sit around and reflect on what I've learned and enjoyed most about being a graduate student, and of course, what would be best for me to pass on to you. And obviously, I love what I study. It would be highly unlikely for me to be doing what I'm doing here anywhere else. Um, in graduate school, it's expected that you'll learn with a certain amount of independence. And there's a confidence that evolves through achievement in that environment. And if you'll forgive me a very corny metaphor, it's like learning to ride a two-wheeler. When you first try to stand up on it, you're probably going to lose your balance. You're going to be overly concerned with falling. But fortunately, you've got someone behind you who's going to have their hand ever so gently on the seat, making sure that you don't hurt yourself too badly. And depending on what you're doing your graduate studies, and that can have a whole lot of implications. But you know, soon, soon enough, you know, you're comfortable with that scenario and you get the bike gliding along and, and all of a sudden you look back and feeling pretty good about everything and you realize the hand isn't there anymore. Um, and that's when I think you'll really feel like you've, you've arrived in graduate school. So don't be afraid to take risks. This is the environment to be creative, to push the limits of your field for both your benefit and also for the benefit of your colleagues. In addition to my research, I've really enjoyed being a part of the broader uh, community. So we have over 1,200 organizations here. There's a sailing club, there's ballroom dancing, there's countless intramural sports. There's, of course, your Rackham student government. Feel free to come check us out. And um, participation in this community, I think, will give your graduate school experience a lot of texture. Um, and it's important to make time for yourself. I'm going to echo what everybody else has said up here. Um, you know, make time for yourself, the other passions in your life, because it reminds you that the world is bigger than just what you study. Um, so there are more practical things that I can impart onto you besides all of that, some hard and fast rules for graduate school. So the first is find lectures, symposium, and student organizations that serve food at their meetings. <laughs> Second, be a friend to yourself. Don't get too tired or hungry, and if you seem like you're having a tough time, things are not going your way, remember that you're in good company. No matter how in control everybody else seems to be, the angst generated by graduate school is common to all of us. 
And lastly, when something good happens, if you publish a paper, if you get good data, or a student that you've been teaching comes up and tells you how you've affected positive change in their life in some way, go celebrate. Have a good time with friends and family. Take a step back and appreciate and celebrate your accomplishment. And when it's all said and done and graduation is upon you and you move on from Michigan, just remember that everywhere you go, go blue. Thanks, guys.